Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about understanding tooling support or tool calling supports in large language model. Ever heard that there is something called as tooling supports in large language model and we always wonder what exactly is tooling? This video is going to answer that question to you. If you just take without going to tooling, if you're going to be using a large language model and if you're going to be asking a question, let's say, did Donald Trump won 2024 presidential election in your large language model with uh, with Olama, with your local large language model, if you don't have access to the internet, you will see that the large language model will be giving you an answer saying, I don't have the context of year 2024 due to the cutoff of the training dates. This is happening because of the large language model always responds to the question to you based on the training data until how much or how long it's been trained with. And this is happening because the LLM don't have the real time data of the question that you are really asking if it is a current trend question. And if you're using a chat GPT or Anthropic Cloud or Gemini, these large language model will try to respond respond immediately with the answer that you're looking for even the current trend these days this is happening because they are enabled with the tools remember like back in uh, 2022 while the large language model was released with chat gpt they don't really respond to the current trend and there was a cutoff until 2021 or something like that they always respond the same answer all the time if you try to ask a recent question but just fast forward in 2025 you will see that all these large language model answers so immediately because they are now enabled with these kinds of feature like tool calling feature so in a nutshell, the tool calling is basically a mechanism that enables the large language models to interact with external functions or APIs or even services to enhance their capabilities instead of relying solely on the pre-trained knowledge. That is what is tool calling. And you will notice that in this particular diagram over here, you are going to ask the same question, did Donald Trump won 2024 presidential election? But this time, the model is going to have a tool binding with the external tools. Like, for example, in this case, it has the uh, binding with the Wikipedia tool. And then it is going to get the response from the Wikipedia search and it's going to get you the response. The search can be anything. It can be Google search, Bing search, or even DuckDuckGo search, whatever search that you have or a provider that you have. If you just fuse that tool binding, with your large language model now if the large language model doesn't know the answer then it will go and see if any tools is being bounded with this particular large language model and then it's going to go and ask, ask the question to the tools and the tool is going to get the response in a json format or whatever and now the the large language model is going to respond it back the same thing happens with the custom tools as well as you can see over here. You can create your own custom tools and your own logic to respond based on the learnings that you wanted to respond it from your large language model. It could be your domain questions that you have very specifically for your domain knowledge. And if you're going to be uh, expecting the large language model to respond to those questions, then probably you need to have some additional custom tools within your uh, tools uh, infrastructure and then you can bind those tools with your large language model and then you can get the response out. For instance, there are some uh, topics uh, which is very specific to your company and uh, specific to your domain and you wanted those answers to be responded from your large language model. Well, without the tooling support, your large language model will have no idea. Maybe it will try to answer by hallucinating some questions answer, but that's not the realistic answer that you're looking for, right? So in order to give an extra mileage to your large language model, tool callings custom tools and tool supports is one of the major breakthrough of this large language model happening these days. And that is what you are seeing. The large language models are getting so smart these days to answer most of the recent trend questions and also the external knowledge questions so much easily. And you may ask that, that does all the large language model does support this tooling support? Well, the answer is no, because not every single model has the support for tooling. So if you just go to the olama.com website, and if you uh, see there is an option for models, and if you choose that uh, link, and if you see there are going to be some category that these models are supporting, like embedding, visions, and tools. And if you choose tools, you will not see the DeepSeek R1 coming up because DeepSeek is not supported for, uh, for tooling support. And similarly, there are many models which doesn't support toolings like Pi, for example, for Microsoft. So all these models that you're seeing over here are supported but there are a few models which don't support tooling as well like tool callings as well so they are still in progress of supporting the tools but the reasoning models does not support toolings yet and finally where exactly does the tooling support happens in our real world use cases as i told you chatbots like chat gpt to support the search data of the external search query that you ask these days, it actually goes all the way to the internet and then finds the answer for you and it's going to respond it to you back. 
it's all happening because of the tooling support. Similarly, Google Gemini, if you see, if you're going to ask uh, for a specific video, what is exactly being discussed in this particular video, even my video, if you're going to ask that, it's going to go and search that uh, video and then it's going to extract the captions uh, using some tools and then it's going to get the response back and then it's going to give a summary of that particular text that you're looking for. It's all happening because of the custom tools or tooling supports for the large language model. Similarly, if you're going to be uh, building a RAG system or retrieval augmented generation system, these tools will also be trained using the external data like PDF data or your domain specific knowledge that you're going to be talking about in your company. Then you'll be storing all these extracted chunked data, embedded data into vector stores and then those data can be retrieved from these toolings and then it can be fed back to your large language model so that it can respond to the question that you're looking for. That is how the rack system uses the tool calling. And finally, the AI agent also uses tool callings because AI agents are, uh, are especially used to perform multi-step autonomous operation to achieve a given goal. So if you just say uh, the agent like, hey, agent, do this for me, it will, regardless of whatever it is, like it goes and do that operation for you and tries to fix that particular problem. Like if it fails first time, it goes second time, fail second time, then it goes third time. It will keep on doing some iteration until a given predefined steps of time and then it will try to achieve that operation for you. That's what is agent and it also uses tool calling support to make it happen all these operations. That is what is this AI agent. And same kind of operation is done by this model context protocol. I've also built a model context protocol for uh, Playwright, which is also something you can use, which can be leveraged to the to power or coding, debugging, testing, like UI, API, or end-to-end -end test, whatever that you name it. You can use it with the model context protocol and also small agent, which, which does the exact same operation of hugging faces. So all these that you're talking about these days are all supported by the power of tool calling. So one thing that you need to understand today for understanding how all these large language model has suddenly gained access to the real world data, tool calling is the real reason behind it. Well, if you ask any question like how you can implement all these tool calling support in your large language model, can we program it because you're talking about some custom functions and, uh, and using that custom function along with large language model, you can use this framework like Langchain, OpenAI's uh, Assistant APIs or Llama Index or Semantic Kernel for Microsoft. All these tools does support the tool, uh, tool creation and fusing that with the large language model. The most popular among all of these is the Langchain chain. That's the reason why I have implemented a complete course uh, to build and test AI agents, chatbots, rags with Olama and local large language model like this, which is available in Udemy. So please go ahead and watch there. It has got all the details of how you can understand the basics of Langchain, building a chatbots, building rags and agents, uh, and also testing them using ragas. And all these operations we are going to be doing using the Olama and local large language model. And that is the power of this particular course. I have already released that in Udemy. So please go and watch there. It is quite amazing. Well, as that said, I'm going to quickly show you a demo of how the tool calls is going to be fused along with an AI agent and how you can make use of the Playwright uh, tools, which can go and grab the data from the website, extract the information, and it's going to give you the response that you're looking for. So as you can see over here, this is one of the sections discussed in the course uh, build and test AI agent rags and chatbots using uh, Olama and uh, Langchain. That course is actually talking about all this detail that I'm talking about over here. You can see that I'm using a Langchain agent which is going to be uh, fused with the tool calls of the playwright for that matter and also using a structured chat zero shot Z uh, react uh, description of uh, agent type and you can see that I'm going to tell that hey uh, uh, agent, can you go and extract the table data from this particular website and uh, and get the uh, average salary of all the employees? And you'll notice that this particular page, if I just go over there, um, which is going to be this one, uh, you will see that they have got so many employees in this particular page. And I wanted to extract all the information regardless. Uh, and I'm also telling that get all the salaries and get the average salary of the employees from this particular list. This is what I'm telling to the agent. And you will notice that it's using the LLM over here, which is actually a local large language model, which is running within my local machine, which is amazing. 
So now I'm going to run this particular agent, which is in, in asynchronous mode. And if I try to run this, you will notice that it's going to run everything in an agent executor chain, which means it's going to do quite a lot of different operations, like one by one. You can see that it's going to call a tool calling. The tool name is navigate browser. And then it is going to call another tools, which is going to be get elements because we told to extract the details from uh, the page. So it's going to do all the get elements of the table. And because I told uh, to extract the data from a table, it now knows that it need to call uh, the get elements uh, tool to extract the table. And you'll notice that how intelligently this agent can able to extract the details from a table by getting through the table row and table data and it's getting all the nth child for us over here. And now it is getting the information out from that particular table. Uh, it may be a bit slow because it is running in my local machine uh, large language model. But if you're using, let's say, OpenAI's uh, model or Claude Anthropic model, the things will be way faster than what you're seeing over here. And look at that. It's doing quite a lot of different observation before it can able to perform all the different operation over here. And you can see all these operation which this particular agent is currently doing with the Lang chain uh, in our LangSmith uh, uh, website where you can see the entire detail is being uh, completely dimensified for you. So if I just gonna open the LangSmith over here, you'll notice that there is an agent executor which is currently doing the extraction of the table uh, data for us and there is also a runnable sequence happening for me. And because this is an agent executor, it is gonna do a lot of different operations. Look at that, it's doing a LM chain operation to call a model. See, this is the model which I'm using, the local large language model, a QN 2.5. And it's doing a LM chains and just keep on doing the extraction of the text for us. And you will notice that it has got the entire details of the page. So this is the system it is transferring. As a human, it is asking the question, extract the tables from this data and get the average salary. And you will notice that now the agent is keep on uh, digging around all these questions and look at that, the finally, uh, over here, in the uh, almost pretty close to the final stage, now the output of the AI, it says that to calculate the average salary of all the input, because it has already got the details of the entire uh, page, now it says extract the salary value, convert the numbers, calculate the average salary. So it's all done by the, the AI uh, for us over there. And now it is con uh, getting all the details and it's converting the salaries uh, and getting an average uh, salaries for us. Uh, and now it is gonna give you the output over here. Hopefully it is already completed over here. There is a bit of a, a failure this time, but that's fine, I think. Uh, let me just refresh this particular page over here. Uh, looks like it could able to get the particular response uh, for the average salary, but for some reason it has just failed because the table, the, the data that we have got is not quite right because there are some JSON data which is not exactly matching to how it's looking for. But you got the idea, right? This is how actually with the AI agent, you can able to get all the details and that is how it's everything happens for you over there. And once again, as the AI agent has got failed over here, we can change the prompt to tell that, get the average salary, but before doing this particular prompt, you can also write the chat prompt message template, like how you have to write those things. And also how, if you need to, if you get an error in this particular response, try to uh, extract it to a JSON format, get exactly the salary and then get the response back. So you can write all those uh, prompt templates as well in the lang chain, which can help you reduce these kinds of problem or completely eliminate these kinds of problem. So this is what is tool calling in a large language model. And that's exactly is very, very helpful for you to understand in today's trend, because that is exactly what's been used by the AI agents and all other offerings by these large companies, especially the new uh, stuff is coming out from GitHub Copilot or GitHub, or even from uh, the perplexity, which they are launch a new browser uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, which is enabled by the AI agent. All happens because of this tool calling. Hope you learned something today very well. If you want to learn even more details about the tool callings and how everything works behind the scene, I will recommend you to go and watch this particular course in Udemy. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.